I'm Karen Kai Mather. I'm an eighth grade English teacher at John Muir Middle School. When I was in high school, I wanted to be a lawyer, so I pursued that um, in college as well as after college. I went to one year of law school, and then when I came back from my second year, I decided to um, pursue something else because I wasn't really interested in law anymore. I really loved the education and I just didn't want to be a lawyer, so I went to get my credential and became a teacher shortly thereafter. Uh, there were definitely a lot of doubts. Um, I was mainly concerned about my parents and especially because I had gone to a year of law school, they knew that I could do it and I knew I could do it as well. So it wasn't really much a question uh, whether or not my effort or my intelligence, but it was really if I really wanted to do it myself. So I went through a hard time with my parents. They didn't speak to me for about three months after I left law school. But um, now we have a great relationship because I think they realize that I'm actually really, really happy in what I'm doing and I want to continue pursuing education um, in leadership roles. I really love my job as a teacher. It's really challenging. We work a lot for not so much money. Um, but the rewards I get are the interactions I have with students and families. Um, I want to continue pursuing it and I want to eventually do something with education and curriculum and building curriculum for the state or even the nation. Uh, growing up as an Asian American, I think a lot of Asian Americans can attest to this too, parents do a good job of comparing you to every other cousin or every other relative who's a doctor or a lawyer or an accountant or an engineer. So my parents did a lot of that um, and they're much better now about realizing that we're an individuals and that we can't be compared to other people, it doesn't make us feel good. So I think... I mean, that's a lesson that um, our generation has kind of learned, too, through our parents. And it's not really good to compare kids to other kids. Those are one of some of the funny stories that I have growing up. Um, other stories that I have is just when I was in junior year of high school, the, when I realized I wanted to work with kids was I worked at a, a spring camp. Um, for kids with really low income whose parents couldn't afford babysitting or a nanny so they went to the spring camp at City Year in uh, downtown San Jose and then I realized uh, because the population I came from were predominantly Caucasian and Asian American that I really didn't know many too many Hispanics and African Americans at that time and working with those kids was probably the most rewarding time I had all through high school because I realized just what an impact a person can make in a child's life, even in just one week. So I encourage everyone to go and pursue something, even if they think they're slightly interested in, to see if maybe it's something they want to do in the future. I just always knew I wanted to work with kids. So when I was in law school, I actually did family law. And what I realized was people don't go to lawyers for good things. <laughs> they don't go to lawyers for good news. It's oftentimes they go to them when they're in trouble, or they need to plan their estate, or they need help. So working in family law, it was really awful because I saw a lot of families fighting in divorces, fighting over their kids, and not really seeing the best situation for kids. So when I decided to leave law school, I knew my second career choice would have been something working with kids. So I decided to work at a middle school and after school program and that really kind of just made me interested in working with adolescents around the 13 and 14 year old age. The advice I would give them is to definitely follow their heart, follow something that they love and something that they're interested in. Um, and I would also encourage them to try things, and especially if they don't like something, to try something new. I think we learn a lot and learn a lot about ourselves when we are trying a new profession or a new career for the first time. And sometimes it doesn't work out, but that's okay. Life will go on and you'll find something else that you'll love even more. But most importantly, work cannot be a chore. Work cannot be something that you despise or that's something that you don't look forward to. Um, even though there is a lot of challenges in education, 
I think overall, just the feeling I get um, and the interactions I get with my students makes it all worthwhile. Um, if I got to do it again, I wouldn't choose anything different. I think all the work that I put in, even in law school, in my credential and in my career now, it's made me the person that I am. And I wouldn't know what I could do or what my abilities, were, abilities are if I didn't go through that path. Um, I wouldn't have met my husband if I didn't. I wouldn't have met the friends that I have now. And I certainly wouldn't be in this path of like health and fitness. Um, as well. So, no, I wouldn't change anything. Um, sometimes hardships really make us who we are.